The last type of reconstruction we'll talk about is a combination of using your own tissue and also using an expander implant to reconstruct your breasts. This type of reconstruction is called the latissimus dorsi flap because we use the latissimus muscle along your back as well as some of the overlying skin and fat to bring some tissue around to the front of your chest and cover an expander and implant. The expander will then be inflated and then switched to an implant at a later time, um, which will give you, again, more of a look of a uh, implant-based reconstruction that will sit a little bit higher on your chest wall. We would typically take a little paddle of skin and an ellipse like this from the back to help replace some of the skin missing from the chest wall on the front. Um, and so again, you'll have a higher sitting breast with a little bit of extra skin um, on the front of the breast. So the question is, why do we typically utilize this combination reconstruction? Well, again, if you've had problems with an expander-based reconstruction or problems with radiation, then the skin of the front of your chest wall is no longer of good enough quality to really just place an expander implant in. So you will need to utilize some of your own tissue to fill that space. So we use a latissimus dorsi flap whenever a woman, again, desires a little bit higher implant-shaped breast um, rather than the abdominally-based reconstruction. And uh, we'll also utilize this if uh, a woman has, again, had problems in the past with radiation or other issues, um, but doesn't want to take the full amount of downtime for an abdominally-based reconstruction or has other qualms with the abdominally-based reconstruction. Latissimus dorsi flap is an older method of reconstruction, but is still a very good one utilized very fr frequently by uh, surgeons that do a lot of breast reconstruction. Um, and again, it's something that if this is the type of reconstruction you choose to pursue, or your surgeon discusses with you, um, definitely make sure you ask a few more details and make sure that you're pursuing something that makes both you and a surgeon comfortable.